Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rai Party and welcome back to my channel Rai Party. Today we are trying to discuss something about dashboards. Now see, this is a problem statement which is given by one of my friends in Telegram. Now see this problem statement. It states, you have one sheet, it's talking about a dashboard. You have one sheet in your dashboard and if you click on that sheet, you want the second sheet to show the data. And if you click on the second sheet, a third sheet should show the data. Now how do we achieve this? Now, I have already designed this. I just wanted to show you what we are going to do ahead itself. Now, this is my category and click on any subcategory to see the subcategory. So, I'm clicking on this. Now, see, you can see the subcategory. Now, it is saying click on any subcategory to show the product names. I am clicking on my phones. Now, I can see the uh, all the products are under the, which are under the phones. Now, I am again selecting in subcategory to deselect. We, I have selected phone site, now I am deselecting it. Now, see, it, it is disappeared. And if you observe, not only the sheet, but also the title, this is the, the title, whatever it is showing, even that is getting disappeared. Right? Now, here I am coming in here and I am saying, I am again deselecting. Again, the subcategory is also deselected. Now, only we have subcategory. So how to do this uh, and uh, before that uh, forgive me for the formatting guys I am not I have done not I haven't done that much of a formatting I just wanted to show you how to do this okay now let me start taking a sheet now in this we'll create our first scenario which will be I'll take my category and then I'll drag my sales and from the drop down I'll just strike a pie chart okay and i'll make it uh, entire view and when in the size i will increase it to some extent to show see and again i will drag my uh, where is this category to label okay just to show and again also sum of sales to show just to show that okay now i'll take another sheet in the second sheet what i'll do is i'll take subcategory and again i'm taking sales and this time I'll take a bubble chart. Okay. If required, I'll say I'll drop the sales into the labels. Now you can see them. Okay. And I'll be taking a third. Uh, and here I'll be taking the product name and add all members. And then I'll say sales. And I'll just rotate the axis and make them in a decreasing sort. Okay. Now this is a decreasing sort. Now I am going into my uh, sorry dashboard. I am creating a new dashboard, and in this dashboard, first I'll drag my pie chart. I'm just uh, I'll just close these two. Okay. Then I'll drag my uh, I'll drag this uh, product names, and then I'll also drag my subcategory. Okay. I'll just remove all these. Now see, till now it is fine. Now here in this normally the problem is uh, i'll first show how to get the actions on the sheets and then we'll talk about the titles now in the dashboard see the problem is when we click on this you have to get the that if i click on furniture i should get subcategory in that furniture only and if i click on any furniture i should get product name in that uh, subcategory only okay so to achieve this you might have understood that it is a action filter right with a filter action now here i am taking says sheet 7 and here i am taking sheet 8 now I, I i select this select now you have these three options right these three are the trickier ones now it says leave the filter what will happen if you select the leave the filter when you deselect when you deselect then it will the the whiz whatever it is present it will get back to its original position the filtering option will be removed now uh, show all values we'll discuss about that later but this is what we are more in, in more concerned about this which is exclude all values what does that do now whenever you select this exclude all values it will remove all the values from the uh, with it will only be visible when there is an action filter or fil uh, filter action that is being applied otherwise you can't see that now let me show you that for this one thing i'll say okay and i'll say okay. fine now it is being shown because it is the first time 
now i'm selecting furniture right now see i unselected the total is gone what is happening in the dashboard again i go to actions and in this i'll say edit now see that is that is because i am se selecting exclude all values now let me select show all values okay now when i says show all values let's see what happens now i selected this again i deselected this we are getting all the values now again i'll go into actions and here edit okay now leave the filter i'll say leave the filter okay when i leave when i say leave the filter when i click on this you are getting your sub category and i click here the filter remains the same it will the wiz will not get back to its original position so that is what uh, here i am talking about actions here if we talk about these three what are these doing leave the filter means it will leave the filter as it whatever the values that we are filtered it will leave as it is and the original wiz will not be shown now when you say show all values the original wiz will be shown when you deselect it and exclude all values it will only show values when you have a filter action that is being applied when there is when you deselect nothing will be shown and this is what we are more interested in this wiz okay now i say okay i think uh, you got the point now right but you have to observe one thing now when i click on this furniture yeah i am getting this sub category and when i unselect it it's going but see here the sheet name is being uh, present because this is default that that sheet name will be present but if you want something if if you hide this that is uh, that will be gone hide title that will be gone but again nothing will be there no title less nothing nothing will be displayed if you want something to be displayed again go back and create i already calculated these i have uh, uh, put two calculations here now i'll just drag this into text and i'll make it as uh, entire view i'll show you that don't worry uh, in the edit calculations i'll say calculation 2 which will be somewhere around 8 16 or some size okay and i'll keep it bold apply okay now what is saying click on sub category to show product names and one more sheet calculation 3 the same thing i'll say entire view and in text i will go to and i'll select this here again i'll select 16 bold apply okay okay now i am coming back to dashboard 3 and i am dragging my uh, what are the sheets that i have uh, sheet 10 i think if i am not wrong it is sheet 10 not, not this no this is not the sheet okay sheet 11 and 12 sorry my mistake i am dragging sheet 11 here and i am just make decreasing its size and i am making this height title now you can see click on subject right now what to do again go back to dashboard and actions and in this edit here when you select uh, something in the sheet 7 it should be applied to sheet 8 as well as sheet 11 it is it is uh, selected directly because these action filters have the this habit of applying its they, their action to any new sheet that comes into the view so that is why the 11 is already selected now see if i go there now again i want to deselect this okay wait it is still showing let me let me check actions edit action should be gone i don't know why it is showing yeah now see it is going now if i click this both are appearing if i unselect this both are going right i'll just edit this click on sub category sorry click on category to see sub category right bold i think 15 okay we'll go for 16 Okay, right. Now I'm saying 
click on the category to see subcategory and the same way now i want to add one more why is not visible yeah. now i'll drag it in here and even in here i'll just reduce the size of this let's say high title i think it should reduce for the more yeah now again dashboard actions and okay our action filter is not applied okay we'll apply one more action filter this will be for the product name right i'm selecting filter in this in this i'll select only sheet 8 which is of subcategory because that should apply only if i can select something in the subcategory so here again what will we select now we again will discuss leave the filter it will leave whatever the effect that is present on applying that filter that effect will be left even if you deselect and show all values it will the viz will go back to its original position and exclude all values nothing will be shown only it will be shown when there is a action filter that is being applied on that okay i'll select exclude all values and here i'll select sheet 11 and 9 9 is subcategory uh, sorry product name and 11 uh, 12 is its title now okay and i select this as okay now let me once run this now it will not yeah now if you see here now i am deselecting all these see everything is gone now i select in here you will get this and i select in here you will get this now again uh, see here now again i deselect this this is gone again i deselect this this is gone right why is how where is this applicable this is applicable when you want to show some sheets with dynamism when you uh, earlier there is nothing there and uh, nothing is present when someone is selecting you want it to be shown there are many applications for this guys so i hope uh, you enjoyed this session okay again please do like subscribe and share my channel rai party and also share it among your friends who are working on tableau and are uh, stuck somewhere and are uh, uh, and need some help and i am present on facebook and telegram guys whenever you have any doubt you can come and ask me in there and also we have started every sunday 4 to 5 pm we have started a live session okay now let me open that let me show you that telegram in the telegram we have started a new channel in that new channel uh, let me show you just a moment yeah it is loading this is the channel rai party youtube channel if you join in this uh, whatever the scenarios that are being discussed in this channel uh, these uh, whenever you have any doubt if you have you can put the those doubts in this channel they will be discussed okay at the same time whatever the difficult topic see i we have made certain uh, uh wait 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 we have made certain scenarios uh, that should be discussed this weekend i'll just show you those uh, scenarios yeah see so this week this sunday the first plan will be first 15 to 20 minutes it will be a discussion on what a uh, fresher should do like or any newcomers on tableau how to learn tableau in an effective way and uh, secondly how to put their resume how to approach for jobs and second there will be two presentations which are uh, some unique concepts that we uh, we got where uh, some uh, uh, one of our members shaker and trishan will be presenting so uh, they, they, this is more interactive guys so if you want to be a part of it come join this channel and here you will have your link where you can come and uh, join in that conference which happens on sunday 4 to 5 pm okay please check on my channel on 30th august 2020 we have already done one session and we have uploaded that video also okay thank you guys thanks a lot